Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. Today we are discussing a variation that I, a pull-up variation that I did the other day and made me just sore as crap. Um, and ravenous. I was so hungry for the next day. It was just unreal. This one is the knees elevated pull-up. Okay, so I'm kind of sitting here. This is going to be hard to do. I'm kind of sitting there with both of my knees pulled up like this and I'm knocking out pull-ups the whole time. Uh, why would I pull my knees up? Well, it's an ab challenger, okay? To pull my legs up, I need my hip flexors to pull my knee up like that. But if my hip flexor is gonna work and it's gonna actually pull my leg up, I need to stabilize the spine somewhere. So what people often do is when they pull their knee up, they let their back arch like this, and so you can't get your knee above your hip, okay? Unless you're really, really flexible. Um, and pathologically flexible, not, not desirable. <laughs> um, so what I need to be able to do during this exercise is hold my knee above hip level, because if I can do that, then I can stabilize my low back, I can stabilize my spine with my abdominal muscles. If my low back is rounded slightly, then I can um, just secure all of that so that my muscles can work, right? Instead of bringing my spine and my hip flexor stuff together um, and probably feeling a little pinch in the front of my hip, I can, uh, I can turn this into an ab exercise that is also an arm exercise, right? I can turn this into a crunch hold while I do my pull-ups. You're gonna wanna learn how to be real gentle at the bottom because if you jar yourself, your knees are gonna be like just falling straight down and you're gonna just rip <laughs> ab muscles. <laughs> they get so sore, I'm telling you. Um, for me, yesterday or earlier this week when I did it, it was the armpit though, that was the pulling stuff. So take this one, don't, you know, you can work toward doing this really, really quickly, but I would consider this more of a, uh, let me figure out how to move really slow and controlled, right? Let me learn how to be uh, a gymnast that can present my body in different ways. Um, that's, that's, generally what I'd recommend. This one's really good if you like to arch your back, okay? If you like to extend your back. This is one that I like to give to maybe more able-bodied people, maybe people who uh, are really strong, really fit. Maybe they did CrossFit or maybe they played sports or whatever. And I can't, um, I can't quite illustrate to them how to round their back during their pull-up. Um, and they don't really understand or care because they've been doing pull-ups this other way all their life. Well, if I introduce this knee raise thing, this knee hug thing, then I, I can change the frame of everything. So no, it's no longer a normal pull-up. It's now this totally different exercise. And I can say, hey, you need to keep your knees up above hip level. And if you can't do that, then I have to stop you. And then it becomes more of a competition, right? I can, I can just say, okay, well, you're not doing it anymore, so I'm going to stop you. And people kind of hate that, right? <laughs> they uh, they want to keep pushing themselves and they want to keep going. And so it's very motivating. Um, you'll get a lot better at this one really, really quickly, but I think you're going to find it's really difficult when you first try it. Um, that was the knees elevated throughout the entire exercise pull-up.